What's going on, everyone? So the Los Angeles Lakers take on the Phoenix Suns today on the road, which the Lakers are currently 0-5 on the road, which is terrible, right? You can't be a contender. You're not winning anything. You're not winning a championship by any stretch if you can't win on the road. You're just not. Right? How did the Lakers get to the conference finals? They won on the road. Right? Miami, how did they get to the NBA finals? They won on the road. You have to win road games. And the Phoenix Suns, they're at home. It's the first uh, in-season tournament game for the Lakers. And I believe the Phoenix Suns as well. But I know for sure the Lakers. Uh, so there's a little more incentive for both teams. right? There's a little more desire and need to like go get this done. Bradley Beal is back for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, Devin Booker is expected to miss this game. But I think this is the game that the Lakers finally win on the road. Um, now, I'm not willing to like put my money where my mouth is just because of how poor the Lakers have played. But this just, to me, seems like one of those games where this could be the moment to right the ship. Lakers are 0-5 on the road. Right, they coming off of just an absolute embarrassing loss to the Houston Rockets, in which they lost by 34 points, and they followed that loss, uh, or well, previously, uh, to a 19-point road loss to the Orlando Magic. So they get absolutely embarrassed by the Orlando Magic, and you think like, hey, they're gonna have that bounce back game, right? And what happens? Nope, they lose to the Heat in a game in which they should have won. And they didn't. And then they follow that up with a absolute blowout loss to the Houston Rockets. So the Lakers are on currently a three-game losing streak. Going into Phoenix, everybody's going to assume that the Phoenix Suns are just going to blow them out like everyone else has. And I think that this is the game that we're going to get to see what the Lakers are truly made of. This is the game that I believe will give us a really good indication of are the Lakers for real right now or are they not? Now, even if they lose this game, that doesn't mean the season's over. It doesn't mean I'm not saying that. But to me, this is a game that I think we could circle back to in the next 10 games and go, okay, like that was the turning point for the Lakers. Because Phoenix is a legit team. They are having their struggles. They've had their struggles early on, right? They're four and four. So they're not much better than us. Um, but a lot of that has been injury issues, but so have the Lakers, right? Um but Phoenix will have Kevin Durant. They'll have Bradley Beal this game, or they should. Um, Bradley Beal, I believe, is probable for this game, or at least at the time of recording this video. But to me, this just feels like the game that the Lakers know we got to get this way, right? We, we've been out-hustled. We've been embarrassed. We're starting games lackadaisical. We're on a three-game losing streak. It's an absolute mess. The last thing they want to do is to fall 3-6 and six on the season. Now, this is also predicated on the fact that Anthony Davis plays. If Anthony Davis doesn't play, then I'm not going to feel as good about this uh, this little prediction here as uh, as I would. Um, I still think the Lakers can win because they don't have like this like crazy dominant center. Like Nurk is solid, but we, we should be able to handle that, right? Um, but... If Anthony Davis is back, this is the game that I think the Lakers win. I think that this is the game where AD, LeBron are going to look at this and go, okay, like we need to show up. I'm hoping that this is also the game because this would be a great game to do so. I'm also hoping that this is the game that both D'Lo and Reeves finally have a good game together rather than like trading games. Right, Austin Reeves has been atrocious um, for most of the games this year. He had that two-game stretch where he was actually really good and looked like old Reeves and then defaulted right back to terrible Reeves. And D'Lo has been really good one game, terrible the next. Right, He'll go and give you 20 to 30, and then he's just terrible the next game. And I'm hoping that this is finally the game in which both of these guys step up, right, and... I think that this is, look, Phoenix, they're not going to have the defense, right? I think that this is going to be one of those scoring games. And I think if there was ever a game in a matchup to, to step up and show up for, it's against the Phoenix Suns. 
right? Because if you win this game, not only do you start to feel good about yourself, not only does it build confidence, you finally get your first road win, uh, the narrative changes, right? And sometimes you need that. Sometimes you need that narrative shift. Not only from a media standpoint, but from like a locker room standpoint. Right, I'm sure things aren't sunshines and rainbows in the locker room right now. But you go get a win against a team that many believe has just as much potential as anybody to come out of the Western Conference. And many people believe when everyone's healthy and they're good, Phoenix is going to be the team to come out the West. Right, You go into Phoenix and you win that game. Right Now you, you, start, you start that shift. Right, especially if guys are starting to play well, right? If guys start to show up, um, there's obviously a concern on our end defensively, and there's also the possibility of Phoenix just blowing us out because the Lakers have been so bad. But I think that the Lakers, this will be the game that they come out and they show that hustle and that drive. I actually think the Lakers win the first quarter this game, and I because I do, I just like. If they're as good as we believe and perceive them to be or potentially be, these are the type of games that you need to see that from. Again, if it doesn't if it goes the way that it's gone the last 3 games, they or pretty much every game this season, again, I still don't think that it's like complete panic mode, but it just becomes that much more concerning. Because it's like you're on a three-game losing streak in all three games. You basically got smacked. Because even in the Miami game, yes, we should have won that game. Without a doubt, we should have won that game. But we were we got smacked for like 90% of that game. And then we finally kind of righted the ship towards the end. So I'm hoping that this is the game where it's at least competitive. You see that energy. You see that, that spirit of the Lakers. And we see that, like, okay, wait a minute. This is this is this is the Lakers we've been waiting for, right? And yes, the loss of Jared Vanderbilt, all that stuff, right? Like, I I definitely think that that's an impact. But this is a game where I really do believe the Lakers need to kind of solidify themselves. And also, if the Lakers win, then not only does the locker room perception change, but so does the media. Right, because now the media, what are they going to do? They're going to run with it. Oh, the Lakers finally got their first road win. They beat the Phoenix Suns, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant. And you know, is this the turning point for the Lakers? Right, Lakers finally, you know, Reeves look good. Right, you start to change and paint that narrative, and to to say like these players don't hear it, these players don't listen. It it's silly. They of course they do. Right and right now you're you're feeling low, right? You're you're not playing well. The locker room's rough. All of the media, all of the fans, all of everybody's just talking about how much you guys are terrible and you know fire the coach and ship out all the players, trade LeBron, trade AD, blah 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 blah. Right? Yeah, yeah. We've all been hearing the narrative, right? So they have too, without a doubt. And if you can change that, that's good. There's also the extra incentive of like, hey, this is an in-season tournament game. So, you know, let, let's go do that. You know, maybe even win the in-season tournament and really kind of, you know, establish ourselves and kind of make a statement, make some noise. Like, yeah, we've had our struggles, but guess what? We, we're here. Like, those are the things that can really kind of right the ship on the beginning of a bad season. And look, like the Lakers, like people act like the Lakers are the only like contending team or good team that is struggling. Again, Phoenix Suns have definitely had their struggles, right? The Milwaukee Bucks have had their struggles and have looked horrible at times. Um, you know, you you have uh, teams like in in the Western Conference stick to West Coast, like the Clippers have been just as bad as the Lakers. Right, and now they have James Harden. They're zero and two with James Harden. Um, you have uh, like the Pelicans who started off and were looking really good. They're starting to fall back. I'm not necessarily saying that they're a contender, but you know the Grizzlies, 
they they're doing everything that I said that they would, right? And I even had people like clowning me like, "Oh yeah, the Grizzlies are going to be terrible. They started uh, you know, they were the number 2 seed last year." Yeah, that was last year. It's not this year. Right? Like so things change. <laughs> right? They lost some key pieces and Ja Morant's out for 25 games. But what do I know? Right? And guess what? One of us were right, right? But I I, I want to see the Lakers. I'm waiting for that fire game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm waiting for that game where the Lakers say, like, okay, I'm sick of this. It's time to play some basketball, right? I would like a, a lineup change, right? I Personally, I think Reeves should go to the bench, um, at least until he starts getting back into a rhythm, like a consistent rhythm. But I think, period, he should come off the bench because I just think he gives you the same production either way. And he can kind of be that gap player, and you can still close with him if you want. Um but I just think he kind of helps balance out the entirety of the team. Um, it'd be nice to get somebody back today, right? Even if it's just Jackson Hayes and Anthony Davis. But I, I just, I'm waiting for that fire game. I'm waiting for that game where all these guys go, you know what? Sick of losing. Sick of the noise. Sick of the nonsense. We're better than this. We're a better team than this. And... Go out and perform as such. Phoenix is the perfect game to do that. Because many people are going to believe that they're going to go and get blown out and get ran through because the Phoenix Suns and they have Kevin Durant and Bradley Beal and all that stuff. And I'm expecting the Lakers to show up, answer the call, and win this game. Again, maybe I have egg on my face at the end of this game. You know, Maybe I'm overly optimistic, but... I think the Lakers get it. I I believe the Lakers get the win today. I really do. I think the Lakers are going to beat the Phoenix Suns today. On the road, that'll be the first road win. And we'll see. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? Do uh, do you agree? Do you think, like, yeah, this is the game? Do you think no? Um, Again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are. Love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. And that being said, if you like this video, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. I appreciate you all. See you in the next one. Thank you.